Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at this YKS brand uh, racing quadcopter frame. This is a 250 size frame that was sent by YKS. And so basically what it is, is it's kind of a plastic and carbon fiber 250 size racing frame. It's one of those frames where you can just put all your own electronics in it. It's just the frame itself. Um, and I will have the links down in the description of where you can pick this up. So um, if you watch the build and you're interested in getting something like this, go ahead and click the link down below of where you can get this, this product from. But anyway, let's go ahead and what we're going to do today is we're just going to go ahead and take it out of the package, kind of unbox it, and uh, go ahead and just screw it all together, see how it looks. I'm probably going to have a multi-part series on this thing. Um, I still need to get some of the components to complete a full build from scratch for a race quad. So this video is just going to be the initial build and how it looks once it's all together on just the frame. And then I'll have a few more videos when I do get the other components, like a build video and maybe a fly video and then maybe an afterthoughts video as well. So this one's just going to be the initial build. So let's get started. So it kind of comes in this uh, dual package. We got the plastic bag here with YKS on it. And then we have this electronic shielded bag here. So we'll just cut that open real quick. And let's see what we get in the package. So there we go. So we got four arms here, two red and two black. And these are the plastic composite kind of arms. So here's the two reds, two blacks, and a little bag of screws here. And then it looks like this is the carbon fiber frame plus the um, all-in-one PCB board that will run, that we can connect all of our electronics to. So we're just gonna cut that open and see what this thing looks like. So here we go. So here's the PCB board. So you can kind of see the indentation in the board where the, the positive is linked all together and then the negatives are linked all together on the board. So you could basically just do whatever you wanted knowing that they're all linked together. Each polarity is all linked. And then you have that extra, whatever it may be, signal wire or whatever you want to hook on there is separate, connected together for these both top ones, separate from all the rest. So that's basically it. It looks like it's just a fiberglass plate. And that's usually what the plates are with these integrated um, power boards. So it's actually not a PCB, it's just a power board. Just a fiberglass power board that you can use. And that would go on the bottom. And then we have the top cover, which looks like a true carbon fiber board. It's very light. It may be um, kind of a, a little bit of a fiberglass mix carbon fiber but it looks like it's going to be really strong. It looks like it's um, one of the better better quality carbon fiber plates. Maybe two to three millimeters thick on there. And then the power distribution board is also about two to three millimeters thick. And then really the only other piece in here is the front. So it looks like the front's probably going to go just clip in here. And uh, that's where your camera is going to go. It's going to sit in there. And then the arms are going to basically hold the entire rest of the craft together by just putting in your arms like this and being sandwiched between the top and the bottom of the craft like so. So let's put that all together real quick. Okay, and also uh, just taking note, it looks like all these Allen screws, these are all the Allen screws, and it looks like they're all the same size. And the size that's going to fit these guys for an Allen wrench is going to be a two millimeter. So a two millimeter should fit pretty nice and tight in there. Okay, so I'm gonna opt to put the um, black arms in the front and the red arms in the back on this build. You can basically, they're all the same, symmetrical all the way around. It doesn't matter what colors you put where. So you can basically put the colors however you want. I'm just choosing to put the, um, the red in the back for this one. And uh, just remember that the front has this slot here for the camera to, to mount up. So just remember this part's the front. The first thing you want to do is just get all of the arms on here on the bottom plate. So real simple, just basically taking uh, the bottom plate, making sure that the um, solder connections 
are in the top or I guess they could also be on the bottom however you wanted to do it but I'm going to choose to have them a little bit more protected and up in the facing the inner part of the craft so basically just taking the plate taking an arm and putting them on in this orientation and taking basically a allen screw and you can see that the allen screws they have this little bit of a, uh, a flange here so they will kind of seat and lock in to that bottom plate pretty good then we're basically just screwing all of the um, the bottom feet in like so whoops I know I said I was gonna put uh, red in the back so let's switch this out for red real quick And you're just going to want to make sure that when you are installing this, that these little tabs are facing the bottom of the craft. The tabs are what um, the f it's going to how it's going to rest on the ground. So you want to make sure that those little foot tabs are facing the ground of whichever orientation you want to put the power distribution board in. So at this point, really simple, just a matter of lining up the screw holes and screwing them in. A little bit redundant, so I'll just fast forward this a little bit. Okay, great. So we've got all four all four arms uh, screwed on the bottom of the power distribution board, and uh, at this point or even earlier is where you're going to want to actually solder all your electronics in. So this video here is just to show you how to put together this frame. Like I said, this is just a video to show you how to put together the frame. The frame, and we'll have those other vid videos up later on. I'm not sure when, but it's going to be kind of a gradual project. Uh, project so um, you can follow along and I'll eventually have those videos up for the full build. So now that we have all of the arms on the bottom plate, we're going, going to go ahead and just put in this little camera holder here. So anyway, so what I'm doing here, as you can see, is I'm putting in this little front camera holding plate. So I'm just putting it in, putting it in that notch, and then putting the top plate on here. I'm just making sure that the top of the camera plate is um, going into the top plate notch. And you can see here how it kind of locks in the top and the bottom here. It's all locked in, sandwiched together. And then really uh, all that is left on this frame to do is put in all the top screws. So let's do that really quick. So when you are putting these top screws in, you might have to kind of push and pull pieces a little bit. I'm noticing that I just need to kind of like pull this arm out a little bit for these um, for these holes to line up. And make sure when you're doing the front that this camera is notched in nice and tight. And it doesn't slip out of its notch, the camera plate. All right, there we go. So they give you one extra screw. At least uh, they gave me one extra screw in this kit. So just in case you lose one, at least you have one extra screw. But that's basically it. Everything's together. Now you're not going to want to do this um, and then put all your electronics in. You're going to want to kind of gradually put your electronics in, especially the center electronics, before you put on the top plate. But I'm just going to go over now um, where you'd put all your stuff. So basically, obviously, motors are going to go on top of here. And usually motors are going to come with their own screws. So you'd screw in from the bottom, motors on top here. And then your ESCs, electronic speed controls for the motors, they'd usually mount kind of in here and then you just tie wrap them in to the bottom here and connect your motor wires to the ESCs. Run the ESCs in here. And then you're probably going to want to solder your ESCs on these this um, power distribution board pads here for the positive and negative here. And then uh, this is probably where you're going to mount your flight controller, right in the center here. So you could opt for anything. There's many different flight controllers out there. Uh, probably a CC3D flight controller would be the way to go. They're light, cheap, small, and they're, they perform well. And then you'd basically just run your um, ESC signal wires into your flight controller and also somewhere around here mount your receiver for your con transmitter controller so mount your receiver in there and then you'd want some kind of battery connection probably back here XT60 connector and solder the XT60 connector here and then of course your camera 
so any kind of uh, type of FPV camera should be able to just slide easily right in here. You can mount that up. If you wanted to put LEDs, some of the pre-built models that are out now by different manufacturers, they put LEDs in these little holes here and they make them look like eyes. So if you wanted to, uh, I guess you could buy some circular LEDs and put them in there if you wanted to. Or a lot of people, what they do is they you can buy those strip LEDs for really cheap and um, you can just stick them. They actually come in like a sticky backing of three LEDs and a lot of people just will stick the LED right on the back of the arm here and then connect it to either your flight controller or a switch or just pop, just stick it, um, solder them straight to your board here. Sort of like maybe something like this positive and negative here. Just make sure they can handle the voltage that the rest of your craft is running on unless you get like a voltage regulator on there. And then on top here, uh, this is usually where you'd mount, say, your, if you wanted a recording camera, like a GoPro or Run Cam or Sony Action Cam or something like that. You'd mount it right on top here, usually. And then your battery would usually mount somewhere around here. You can see these little slots here are for battery straps. So you can easily mount a battery on top there. You're probably not going to be able to fit a battery in here because you're going to have your flight controller, receiver, and all your wiring and stuff down in here and your camera is going to be up front here so uh, I wouldn't recommend putting the battery down in the middle it's going to go on top here and that's about it so basically this is just the frame you can do whatever you want put whatever kind of electronics you want with it what I'm going to do is um, since this is going to be kind of a multi-part gradual build video I'm going to request from YKS the company that did um, provide me this frame I'm going to kind of request some electronics from them and maybe it'll be just a full YKS build with the components they can provide for the build. Again, um, this was a review model from them and I will have the links down in the description. So if you are interested in this thing, pretty cool, pretty light. Let's go ahead and put it on the scale real quick and see what the full put together frame weighs with all the screws in it and stuff. So it looks like we're at 130 grams complete with screws and all the frame components less all of the electronics so 130 131 so you have an idea of how heavy this thing is and it does look pretty rigid it looks like these arms are a good solid um, brace structure here so um, once we get this all put together with all the electronics in it and start flying it will definitely be testing out the durability of of this in some crashes as well so anyway guys that was the build of the YKS 250 racer frame. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for the progress on this one. I do a lot of uh, tutorials, reviews and stuff. So if you're interested, check out the channel. I think you might like it. So anyway, till the next video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.